You know, I just, I just have that special something, you know, that X factor. Uh, I just radiate the right vibe. Um, my work is good. I look good, really good. And uh, I just don't talk about it, you know. I'm like my own best kept secret. So, why do you think that you are a good fit for this job? Um... So, what makes you a good fit? Hold the telephone. Where did you get that bracelet? Um, that doesn't really matter. Oh my god, it's just spectacular. It's just like shining in my face. I can't, even, I can't even look at you. It's just so brilliant. It's like your eyes, if your eyes were gold and metallic. Uh, but, but sorry, what was the question? What makes you a good candidate for NCTV? Well, it's, you know, it's just the way that this place works is just so whole. It's, it's almost, uh, it's like, it's like a DVD. It's, you know, we're one, we're, we're circular, and we're so glossy and shiny, all the colors of the rainbow, we're just, we're just one and the same, I think. We're just, we're great together. We're like, it's like, it's almost like Full House, uh, and like your Uncle Jesse, and I'm the, the Olsen twins, um, you know, if you know, maybe they put them together, like Siamese twins or something, I mean, they look the same. You could kill one and, you know, it would still, you'd still have one at least, with, you know, sun shining and looking bright, but uh, did, that, did that answer your question? So what makes you stand out from the rest of the interns here at NCTV? Why do you think that you should be the project manager? Well, I'm a really hard worker. I mean, really hard. Um, I'm careful, I'm organized, and I'm always one step ahead. But what if I'm two steps ahead? Three. Then I'm three steps ahead. seen the script. Have you seen it? The host wants to make some changes and I need it. Well, I just put it on your desk. I'm right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I was up here earlier and I haven't uh, seen it and I really need you to find uh, it. I, 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 so, I left it right, right Lionel, your desk I really here. need you to take some more responsibility for your work and buck up. And I need you to find that script. I, I just put it on your desk right here. Uh, <laughs> What are you doing? Just whistling Usher, you know that booty song? It's f fantastic. I think he knocked off John Coltrane, but you know, everybody remixes songs anyways nowadays. Channel helps me channel my creativity. Yeah, but but I was whistling. So what? So 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 two people can't whistle at once. Why not? Because it's just, just you, you, two people can't whistle at once. It's like, it's like ruining something that's perfectly good on its own. Like, I don't know, like, like pizza goldfish or, or har harvest moon sun chips, you know? Or electricity. Right, right. Electric cars. Electric cars. You said it. No, Lionel. No. But I haven't even said anything yet. I haven't even said anything yet. You're always whining, 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 whining. Always whining about someone. Put yogurt in my shoes.
this isn't funny, you guys. I mean, you were the only ones who were here after I left last night, so it had to be one of you that took the script. I left at 8 p.m. This is all some big game to you? This is not a game, Lionel. We're all in this together. Oh, uh, but He's no. He's right. I, it's not you. a game. And if you guys want a real job someday and you don't want to be interns forever, you gotta shape up. Do you want to make real money? Do you want benefits? Do you want to be able to afford a nice car, a nice house? Look at this. It means I have power. It means I'm the boss. And it means I make real money. Someday, you guys will be able to do that too. If you take yourself seriously. Now you listen to me, little bro. And you listen well. I'm gonna stomp those little baby turbo feet of yours. It's the last thing I do to get this job. You see these puppies? Size nine. Women's. Father says I'm not responsible enough to get a puppy. All right, guys, guys, calm down, relax. We need to relax, we need to calm down, and we need to relax. We're all on the same team. We're all friends. We all love each other dearly. And, you know, let's just, let's calm down and relax for a minute. Come with me. Go up in the control room. Go up in the control room. Grab Lionel's lunch. Is that my lunch? Whoa, whoa. I think that's my lunch. No, no, it's not it's Lionel's. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's mine. What about me? best quality, uh, I think that would be, uh, my ability to discern between right and wrong, uh, moral fiber, honesty, integrity, reliability, punctuality, righteousness, chivalry, honesty, truth, dental hygiene, vision, cleanliness, tire pressure, peeling bananas, the ability to draw a perfect circle. My ability to stay true to those morals and, and to surround myself uh, with people who have the same sense of decency. Look, Lionel, no one took anything, okay? We're, we're all just as confused as you. It had to have been him. I know it was. It, it was not him, alright? He would not do that to us, alright? We're all on the same team. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds exactly like something you would do. I mean, all of you guys are just don't care about anything other than yourselves, and you don't pull any weight around here, and then it all gets thrown on me. That's... that's ridiculous. I care about plenty of things other than myself. Plenty of things. Like what? Like what? Like... like what? Like the... I don't know, like, like, like the environment. The environment. You drive a Range Rover. Exactly. So I'm always the first one to show up for a shoot. I'm always the first one to volunteer, because I can get there. I can get it done. So... Why don't you just get this done and just rewrite the script? It was like 20 pages, there's no time. See, now you're thinking. I'll let you to it. You can get, get whatever you need to get done. We've never had a surplus in the budget before and I haven't exactly decided what to do with it yet. I agree, it's a big decision. Well, I was thinking about giving it to charity. That way everybody wins. Okay, you pick one. So last on the agenda, we have the new project manager. People, you know, like, people like you, business. That's ridiculous. He doesn't know what he's talking about. We only care about ourselves. Sure, boss, I'll freaking scrub this down for you. Yeah, I'll use those gloves. Yeah. The environment. Yeah, latex free. Yeah, man. That is that's pure selflessness. Just genuine, genuine generosity. You know, some some might even say heroic. You know, you're a hero. Like like I don't know. Like uh like Barack Obama or or, you know, Patrick Swayze with, um, you know, with his dancing and his, uh, his uplifting spirit and his just his overall, overall outlook, you know, just, just do the right thing. Hey, can you give me some, uh, papers out of there? They're in the front pocket right yeah, there. Yeah, you wipe your hands off? Yeah. Huh. Why do you have our resumes? Yeah, I took them last night, but it doesn't even matter because just giving the job to charity anyways, so. Charity? Yeah, I know. It's it's pretty ridiculous. I don't, you know, I don't think I've ever even heard her talk, to be honest. You think she's like, you think she's like really a secret genius or something? You think she's like Rain Man? I look good. 
My work is good. I think it's because she has the SARS. Wait, what? Yeah, dude, I saw it on her resume. It's like, it's like AIDS, but less vowels. Man, she doesn't have what it takes. She, she shouldn't have this job. I mean, it's all, about, it's all about image, appearance, you know, style. But, you know, the ability to look past the surface of the water and look into, into the ocean, you know? Yeah, it is all about the definition, huh? Yeah, you know, the pecs. Tries, pecs. Delts, the buys, well, the buys, you know? <clears throat> the buys, the delts, the tries. Man, NCTV. Like or something. NCTV. Jonathan just ate my whole lunch. I know they stole it. That was a huge sandwich. And now I'm probably going to get blamed for it. I probably would have saved half of it for later. Tonight's going to be a disaster. What am I going to do? You're going to get back at them. Both of them. I don't think that we should... We should. We. Both of us. You know both of them are just out to totally ruin our chances of getting this job. Do you think they stole your sandwich on accident? I mean, that was totally just a way to push you out. I don't think he knew it was mine. Of course he did. I mean, they're probably off laughing about it right now, trying to hatch some new intricate scheme to push us out of the job. I think my best quality would be uh, my brain and uh, you know, the brain matter inside and the neurons uh, that are going on uh, in, in that respect. Uh, I think I have a, somewhat of a large brain, um, you know, not as large as an elephant's, but certainly if you were to open it up and uh, you know, fill it with sand, I would probably fill more sand than uh, the average person or you know, most certainly baby. Rid of them. The footage. The footage that, uh, for tonight's shoot. Uh, Bishop shot it last night, right? We take the footage and we hide it. And then um, you go and tell Keating that the footage is in Bishop's camera. When she goes looking for it, she won't find it and they'll totally get in trouble. Well, I don't want to lie. You wouldn't be lying exactly. It would be like. Uh, like a false truth. How can it be the truth if it's false? Well, it's, uh, like a, like a false positive. I mean, you, you wouldn't say that a pregnant woman is lying, uh, when she has a false positive on a pregnancy test. Back home, if we want to see if someone's pregnant, we just do the jumping test. Do four jumps, and then if nothing falls... Just, just tell her. Okay. Oh, yeah. We in the rhythm now. Feel that burn? Yep. Right what in are the we shoulders. On? 1010? Oh, something like that? Jumping out of my back. Oh, yes. Can feel them growing. Yeah, feeling the butt. Getting huge. Feeling the core, baby. Rockets. I'm like Genghis Khan. Stone Cold. Steve Austin. Ooh, I'm like Abraham Lincoln, the man had like 2% body fat. Oh, post hangover. Carrot top. I'm like the guy from the Green Mile. Hey, have you seen Bishop? I need that B roll. Um. I think uh, they have it downstairs in the studio. Gentlemen, where's the footage for tonight's show? We go live in 30. It's uh, it's right over there on the camera. Right here. Did Lionel ever get those notes? He probably took it, yeah. Man, this is it. I look amazing. Look at this. Man. My best quality? I'd say modesty. You know, humbleness is, is godliness, I always say. Bishop. Bishop. Here's the notes for tonight. Put them on Lionel's. Put on Lionel's dust or something? Was that... Are those the notes for tonight? No, no. You did no. take it! No, what? No, no. Nope. Nobody took anything. 
We found it, all right? We were just about to give it to Lionel. No, you weren't. He was right about you guys. All you care that's about... That's not is... true. That's... That's not true. I care about everybody here. I care about you. I care about you. I care about everybody here. I care about you. Uh, there's, there's, gotta, there's gotta be something we can do. There's gotta be something I can do for you. Well... I've always wanted to sing. But I'm too shy. All right. All right. We can work with this. We can work with this. Come on. Come in here. I'm gonna put you in here. I'm gonna get some lights set up. Then we go get Keating. This is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment. I feel sometimes like I'm in a, a spaceship or something. Like, ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> One. Yeah, I love Sting. Two. Oh, we're live in 15 seconds. Can I have the notes? We don't have them. Yep. Yeah, I got it. Rolling a 10. All right. Cue the feed. We are live in five. Live in five, four, three, two. Hello, and welcome to Tom Hanks, Apollo 11. <laughs> you ever see that movie? He was great in the X Files. Oh, yeah! And here you can see the construction workers on King Street. Mr. Miyagi, old and strong. Yeah, old but good, baby. Why, why are we even still here? We're not getting the job. Why even keep us here? We already know you gave the job to charity. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. That's How? it. Forget it. I'm done. No, wait. Please don't leave. Unbelievable. You guys ruined everything. Lionel has the notes. He had them the whole time. Ma'am. I'm out of here. Cleaning crew comes in 15 minutes. You better be out too. I think I'm really friendly, personable, and everyone here seems so nice too, and so smart. We all just get along. We only get funky tunes, baby.